In this video, let's check a few more functions uh, you can use to manipulate uh, your erase in Pinescript. As usual, I created like a small widget to explain this concept better for you. So um, in the first row here, I just created two arrays. Um, so I used array.from a function. I just created two small arrays. And the first function I want to introduce you is array.concat. This function will just concatenate two arrays and as you can see, it's quite interesting that I do not assign the result of this function to anything. Pinescript will just uh, take array one, array two will concatenate them, and after that it will save it as array one. So you don't need to output anything. You are just array one, it will be modified. So here you can see result of um, this function uh, call. So basically you can see here you have uh, two arrays side by side. So next function I want to talk about is array.sort. You can use this function to sort your arrays. So um, uh, here I have sorted my arrays ascendingly just by calling array.sort. And also you can see that it do it in place. So basically it doesn't create like a copy of your array. You don't need to assign it to anything. You can just do this just like that. If you want to sort your array descendingly, you can do this uh, quite easily as well. You just have to add second argument to array.sort. This argument should be order.descending, and your array will be sorted descendingly. So it's quite uh, simple. So next function I want to talk is um, array.reverse. Um, very simple function. It also works in place. You don't need to create like a copy of your um, array and it will just reverse the order of your array. Like all values uh, order will be just uh, opposite after calling this function. So here, for example, you see descending uh, order at array and after we apply reverse, now we have ascending order of our arrays. So it's quite simple. And the last function I want to talk about in this video is array.standardize. So um, this function take as an argument array and of that it outputs you standardized version of your array and um, it works pretty simple um, so basically it takes all your um, all your values in your array it first it subtract mean of all your um, values and after that it divides it by standard deviation of all your values as well so as you can see idea of that is quite simple